All right, basically these are the ingredients that we need in this plate. We have onions, spring onion, um, garlic, um, ginger, strict ginger, and you can see this uh, little half cube that is um, a vegetable cube. Um, you don't have to put salt because that's salt, salty enough. And here we have cornstarch eggs and pepper sesame seed oil oyster sauce and of course extra virgin oil olive oil doesn't need to be uh, olive oil whatever oil you have and we will also use uh, some flour so uh, I'll see you in a little so here's our uh, fish head it's salmon fish head and um, not many people eat this kind of stuff, but um, uh, you guys will be surprised how um, delicious this is and um, how really um, not only delicious, but um, this also has a lot of um, uh, omega fatty uh, acid oil. oil. <laughs> yeah. And also a lot of collagen, which is which we can really benefit very well from this um, fish head. And so what we're gonna do is just clean this one, take the rest of the scale off that is still there, and then of course we'll take off those teeth and that. This is really clean already from the store. Um, uh, usually um, from around here we buy the whole head and we have to clean it but here we don't really have to do it because uh, this was uh, bought from other place and it's good they really did a good, good job and yeah I just gonna cut it off into bite piece and I'll show you later as now you can see the fish are all cut up into a bite piece pieces and uh, here is where the egg um, is used so I have one egg and a little bit of uh, oyster sauce and some pepper so what I'm gonna do is uh, mix it of course I'm gonna just I can't hold I can't mix it because I'm holding the phone but anyways I'll mix it and then I will leave it for like 15 to 30 minutes so uh, the taste will get into the flesh of the fish so see you in a little bit here I'm showing you that um, it's been after 15 minutes almost 30 minutes I'm showing you here that um, I have already put the, some flour to lock in the moist in it in in each um, uh, bits of uh, the fish because if you don't put flour when you fry it it will stick or not only stick in your pan or pot but it will also give you good sprinkling you know how do you call that it will be uh, flashing back you know a year whatever you call it haha <laughs> okay so that's the reason why so instead of um, uh, coating it dryly on a plate like that but what I did was um, just uh, sprinkle all those um, uh, flour so uh, you coat everything evenly so I'm almost ready here um, my oil is now ready see that I'm using this um, pan um, pot I mean so it will prevent the um, the oil from back flashing everywhere and so let's see whether it's um, hot enough okay oops Take that piece and put it there. There you go. And another thing is um, your heat uh, here. Uh, 
um, the heat, you heat it up when it's really hot, then it's okay. But lower it to the medium heat while you're frying because you don't want to cook your fish all of the sudden so the the, the inside is um, still raw so what you do is adjust your heat to the low and um, oh that's too hot not good anyways um, yeah so I put my I adjust it to really low there you go, I can feel it, it's lowering, the sound is lowering now, and the, um, yeah. the reason why you put it, you should put it on low heat, it's because, and so you can cook the fish inside as well, and then when it is, um, when you think it's cooked, um, when you think the inside is cooked already, then you can put the higher the fire higher and um, so to make it crispy so I'll show you that this is what I'm talking about see it's not really back flashing at me that oil because um, I have that um, I coated it with um, some flour that's the reason why we need flour so let's go and uh, turn it over I can see that it's really uh, yeah good getting brown Oops, sorry about my video because I'm holding it in my left hand and here go All right. almost once in a while I cook this kind of fish this kind of dish because um, I crave for it. Um, not many people um, are fond of, you know, eating something like this. But uh, yeah, most Asian people, I guess, know how to uh, appreciate this uh, kind of dish. So, yeah. All right. So you can see they are really now brown golden brown <clears throat> and uh, I'm sure they are cooked inside because fish especially salmon fish uh, you don't really need it uh, to cook overcook you know I mean cook too long it's not not good as well so what I'm gonna do when it's um, golden brown golden brown like that I put my temperature I mean my fire higher a little bit so the purpose is to make it crispy when um, there you go so it's nice to eat when it's crispy really but be careful not to get it burnt right <clears throat> Catching up, and it's uh, see when you put your your fire lower, the fish will get cooked, but it's not crispy on the outside. And so, in order for it to get really crispy on the outside, um, you put your fire higher, so you get the crispiness that you desire. Go. Mm, really smells good smells really good you see um this fish head is really clean I really cleaned it I removed all the alien stuff that's uh, on it that in it whatever is uh, all kinds of thing that we don't really eat we don't need so I really clean them so well <clears throat> Mm, smells really good see you hear that it's really crispy on the outside but it's not burnt you see 
it's just golden brown. And so you see how I um, cook it, the process of cooking it. So what I'm going to do now is um, cook the rest of the fish and show you the next step next. All right. So, mm, really, they are beautiful. The smell is really good. See that? This crispy. You can feel it as I pick it up. It's crispy on the outside. Beautiful. So, here, I'll pick that up and put it there to set it aside for a while. And go. Good. So just like that. Um, same process with the second batch of uh, what we're gonna fry until I finish frying them, and I'll show you the next step. That's all fried up. Now we're frying our ginger, sweet ginger, and we're gonna put it in the oven for If you notice that it's a homemade kind of cooking, I really have no um, measurement for that, and I just go with the you know estimation. So I'm good. I guess I'm good at it because I've been cooking this for many many times. So kind of I just estimate things. Yeah. Oh, look at my uh, mm -hmm. onions. Oh, 
the crispiness of um, of the fish is really good. I can feel it by the touch of it. Now, here comes the, the tons of uh, spring onion. There you go. Okay, um, here I have a boiling water and I'll put some salt just to taste. We are using, instead of rice, we're using noodles, fresh noodles, egg noodles, like egg noodles. What are we gonna do? It's too much. <laughs> yeah. What we're gonna do is just uh, blanch this one with some uh, salt and some oil in the water. Um, I think it's a She said she <laughs> she's a small eater, so I'm a big eater, and I eat once a day. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, I guess. Oh, oh my I'm preventing that. Right? Um. Okay. I guess um. That's it for. The We're ready to eat. That's the 